and lows. Renowned as a sex symbol in the 70s, her weight ballooned in recent years. Lack of exercise and poor eating habits were taking their toll on her health. But now, Abigail has bounced back with a message for other Australians wanting to reshape their lives. Rod, what about him? Well, I don't know. She wants to speak to you. Oh, go on then, Bev. Your brother might have dropped dead or something. Don't you dare say that. You can say anything you like about my mother, but not about Rod. 30 years ago, she became Australia's first television sex symbol. Hey, relax, darling. You're too tensed up. No, it's no use. With the raunchiest role on the sizzling soap number 96, Abigail and her famous figure changed the shape of Australian TV forever. Oh, darling. Darling, please, please, please. Darling, don't be afraid. I didn't know you felt this way. Honestly, I'd never... Look, I thought you knew. Homosexual. Now, three decades on, the pin-up girl of a generation has proven she's also human. It wasn't till I got out of the swimming pool and I caught my, a shot of myself in the mirror that I realised that I was vast, not chubby. In January this year, the 55-year-old, 162-centimetre actress turned author hit a staggering 95 kilograms. As she sat down to write a novel, Abigail's once healthy diet went out the window. So did exercise. I've got a husband who, who cooks and he was bringing me my meals. I wasn't even walking to the kitchen, really. <laughs> it was, I was sitting in front of my desk with all my lovely books, either reading or, or writing, and it was absolute bliss. What was your big weakness? Uh, I think forgetting how, how much I was consuming of snacks. I think chips and, and things like that. Unlike many on the weight loss merry-go-round, Abigail decided there and then to go on a diet, aiming to shed almost 30 kilos. I knew that I couldn't go on at that weight. I'm, I'm very firm in my thinking. I just think, no, stop, that's it. Um, stop having a glass of wine for seven months. Uh, that was, or even touching a, a glass of beer. Uh, that happened the next day, that was it. Mm. That's strong. Mm, must be, I suppose. I, th I think you don't want to dilly-dally with a diet. You want to get on with it. You know, get it off and, and then forget about it and then get back to enjoying a, a lovely, healthy lifestyle. For a woman desperate to lose weight, Abigail maintained strong views on the pressures women face to be thin. I think it's woesome. I really do when, when girls of 12 think that they have to turn themselves into their Barbie dolls. Um, it's very bad health-wise. I've never thought that women should look like stick insects. I don't agree with that at all. They should be curvaceous. Abigail describes her regime as the perfect diet, pure common sense. The first thing you do is cut out fried foods. You cut out any cakes, and not that I'm a great cake eater, but you, you just say no, no to that. And fruits, vegetables, complex carbohydrates, um, and, and just cut down the portions and eat, drink a lot of water and eat several meals a day. Breakfast is very important, but if you eat every three hours, you won't get into a trap where the body says we're starving ourselves and does the reverse on you, because if you try to starve and skip meals, you are retaining much more than you normally would. In her battle, she used just one additive, the OptiSlim pill. Well, it suppresses appetite. It gives you a feeling of, the, of fullness before you've, um, you know, finished eating. Usually, we, we don't wait the 20 minutes after we've finished a meal to know if we're full. But the brain won't tell us that for 20 minutes. It teases us. So we tend to overeat. The other vital ingredient is exercise. In Abigail's case, walking. But I started uh, on about four kilometres a day. I'm now at about eight kilometres a day. But that's just because I've fallen in love with walking. I mean, I've always been a walker, and it's just fantastic. Abigail knows she'll never get back to the figure which made her famous. All she wants is to fit into her old clothes. Well, some of them. I lost 17 kilos in seven weeks. That's how quick it was. And that was just, just wonderful. I saw the weight just pouring off. What's the target? How, far, how much further do you want to go? Oh, um, I've just got another 10 to, to lose, that's all. Just another 10? Yes, just another 10. Will that be easy? Yes. Mm. That report from Glenn Conley. And with her newfound confidence, Abigail is not ruling out a return to TV.